Take your leg of these bends across Africa, but make sure you check out Cape Town. Whether you're a regular visitor or just a JJC, the shops, restaurants, beaches, and resorts provide everyone with something to do. We bumped into Steve Babaiku, the owner of Extreme Music, a Nigerian-based record label. Steve is in Cape Town shooting a music video for Etc., one of the artists on his label. We did the, the master shot in the intro uh, intro shot that just has uh, etc. and the guitar uh, playing in silhouette, kind of overlooking this vast sea behind us. The romance between uh, Tien, who is playing Michelle in this video, and etc. just on the deck chairs, uh, and just the interaction between the two of them. We've got John, a native, to show us around the city. For the people to come and visit Cape Town, there's a lot of places that you can enjoy and visit Cape Town. So you can have a leisure time at the beachfront, which is uh, Kems Bay, which is quite very interesting as well on a beachfront. I was saying he is free to continue doing music and releasing his materials while the case continues hearing in court. The presiding judge Justice Buba said Chocolate City can be compensated at a later period since the plaintiff can be compensated at a later date. The defendant is free to carry out his duties as a singer so that none of the two parties will be at a disadvantage. A two-day hearing from the case has been slated for 19th to 20th March. Chimamanda Adichie asked to be addressed as a miss. Prolific writer Chimamanda Adichie has asked to be addressed as a miss and not a missus. And already some people are insinuating she is separated from her US based husband, Dr. Ivara Esega. Miss Adichie, in an interview, asked her interviewer who addressed her as Mrs. Chimamanda Adichie to simply call her Chimamanda Adichie. In her words, she said, that's how I want to be addressed. End of quote. And moving on, Forbes named Dangote 23rd richest man in the world. According to Forbes list released Monday 3rd March, Nigerian industrialist Aliko Dangote is the 23rd richest man in the world. Wow! He made history as the first black man to break into the rank of top 25 richest people in the world. In 2012, he was the 76th richest man in the world. He moved from that to 43rd richest man in the world and now to 23rd in 2014, with his wealth jumping from $16.1 billion to $25 billion. The next Nigerian on the list is Chief Mike Adenuga, who is 325th richest person with $4.6 billion. Then Mrs. Following Shaw Alakija is 687th position with a personal wealth of $2.5 billion. Former Microsoft chairman Bill Gates takes the number one position as the richest man in the world with $76 billion. Now, if you live 10 lifetimes, you probably won't finish $76 billion. And finally, on quick news, Lupita wins Oscar's Best Supporting Actress. The sky seems to be just more than this Kenyan's beauty's limit. Lupita Nyong'o, who won an Oscar for the Best Supporting Actress for her first feature film, 12 Years a Slave. Congratulations, Lupita. And that wraps it on Quick News. Stay tuned. There is that. Um, I mean, the one that caught my attention most uh, has to do with the with Aliko Dangote being the twenty third richest man in the world. 
now that was just it was, i was just hearing a um, couple of millions of dollars billions of dollars and i was like wow this is serious this is big really big billion billions of dollars now it's a billionaire in dollars now converting that to naira uh, now that would be serious i think i'll have a problem with my calculator if i try to convert dangote's money to naira as it were but this is big news and other stories we had there we had on brimo's injunction i mean the court actually lifted the injunction on him uh, record um, dropping uh, materials and all that and that's a plus for him brimo can now drop songs drop materials and that's just pretty wonderful for him besides that we also had the story of libita the kenyan winning an award and the nigerian not nigerian born now it was british nigerian as it were uh chiwetel ejiofor as it were did not win the oscar he didn't win the oscar for his role in the same movie as lifita now that was just uh some of the stories we had there having to do with the quick news we had today and there's still more stories still more stories stories having to do with obesity and the rape scenario now there's a twist to it it's not just that um, the ladies accusing him of rape as it were but now we're having it that um the lady is claiming that the police are trying to force her hand to drop the case now that's a twist to it though basically he's saying the lady is his lover and he actually sent her to the hospital at this point in time the lady is saying the police are trying to force her hand to drop the case we just hope in due time justice is done and they get to the bottom of all this but moving on from that one we have another quick one another quick feature here and this has to do with top celebrities now there's the woman women leadership conference top women leadership conference top celebrities in nigeria and we were there to cover the event you can just sit back relax and enjoy this women are said to be lubricants of any surviving society and so they should be applauded and recognized at any given time this gave rise to the birth of Women Leadership Conference held Thursday 6 March 2014 in Lagos to translate the wealth of experience gathered by some top celebrity women by informing women about their role in the society. Be determined. You can change that situation. If you can change my thing, there's no limit to what a woman can do. You have no limit. And let no man tell you or show you what you can't do. You have been empowered by God. You are a producer. Yes, sir. You are a producer, mm -hmm. even in dry places. You are a woman. You are a walking machine. No limit, no more excuses, no more what will help me, no, get up, first of all, acknowledge who you are, secondly, create relevance, do things that make you come alive. Mr. Paul Bakari spoke about the challenges of a woman and gave some words of encouragement. I guess what they need to do more is they need to believe in themselves more. I said something in there. I said when God created them, God created them professionals. Men acquire professionalism, but women were created professionals. If anything is going to work on us, they will do it. And if anything is going to go back too, they will do it. The main crux, the main idea which most of them do not have is they do not believe in themselves. They shortchange themselves. They are too emotional for my liking. And uh, I guess emotions will make them do things that are wrong in most cases. They need to believe in themselves the more. They need to set out from the house. Like I said, they need to be a woman first before they become a lady. It is when you're a woman you can stay in the house think and have ideas put together, then you go outside and implement those ideas. It is when you're going outside that you become a lady. But while you're indoors, it takes a woman to do the thinking. It takes a lady to execute the thinking. Awards were given to some outstanding personalities. Thank you very much, top celebrity and our female leader is here representing us, every, every female in Nigeria. 
Round of 